All right, now let's uh, look at other uh, markets now. We see uh, it's a bloodbath, literally, in, in the crypto market at this point. Seeing the sentiment in the market now at fear. I did know uh, that fear was uh, nearing in this market. And we're there now. Big drop from neutral level, 34 points. That's what we have this morning, showing that uh, traders are really afraid uh, right now in this uh, market and might not be uh, inclined to put money right now because... As it is, it's, uh, it's a bloodbath with, with the uh, U.S. Fed there talking about raising rates even more uh, going forward. And we see that impacting even U.S. markets, even to the crypto markets. So it seems it's a, it's a risk-off sentiment we're seeing right now. Let's look at the market cap. Uh, lost that $1 trillion uh, level there. Now it's $931 billion, down 6.66%, a big drop uh, overnight there. Volume traded also up 54.66% on the sell-offs we see in the market. Bitcoin dominance are also inching downward there at 0.74%. Let's look at the price of Bitcoin this morning, $19,948. I did lose that $20,000 uh, support, lost the $21,000 support there. Big drop, 8.21. Not seeing this level in a while. It's most, more like um, all the gains uh, from January wiped off in a single breath there. Volume traded, $36.31 billion. Let's look at Ethereum. That wasn't left out uh, of the bloodbath again. We saw it uh, there. Lost the 1.6 level, lost the 1,500 level, $1,414. Also down 8% uh, this morning. We see volume traded, $10.97 billion. All on uh, sell-offs we're seeing in the markets now. Let's bring in uh, Olumide Additional now, Financial Market. Uh, analyst. Hello, Lumide. Good morning. Hello, Lali. Thanks for having me. It's a yeah. red Friday. Yeah, quite a, a bloody Friday. It's a bloodbath in this uh, market. I don't know if you were expecting this, but it's, it, it seems it's the Fed again. And obviously, we've seen the, the U.S. Fed. They've been talking about, you know, not going so high with interest rate hikes. They're also talking now quite hawkish, you know, at this point. We've seen the markets react. All the gains uh, from January wiped off this market. Yeah, just like you rightly uh, retreated, uh, the U.S. Fed's uh, hawkish uh, sentiment, you know, when, when, when he was talking to Congress, really escalated the uh, outflows in the crypto market. And we saw Bitcoin breaking uh, below uh, $22,000 uh, support level. But uh, it's fair to also look at the fact that uh, there are also systemic concerns across the crypto market. We're seeing the fact that there was a New York lawsuit uh, categorizing uh, many crypto assets as securities. And you understand uh, the uh, the effect that will have on many crypto exchanges. Also, uh, the fact that many uh, financial institutions uh, look to have stress concerns. You know, we spoke about Silver Gate voluntary liquidation. And right now we are talking about uh, Silicon Valley uh, Bank that um, has a market cap uh, a ranking of about 16 uh, biggest in the United States, uh, also having uh, systemic concerns that really triggered uh, sell-offs yesterday, and we saw it across risky assets. It got so bad that uh, Bitcoin had to break uh, below uh, $20,000 support level, and that really triggered um, bearish uh, concerns across other risky assets. Mimi coins down more than 12%, like rightly said, and uh, the cascade of losses kept on going to uh, the early hours of this morning. And, you know, with the Ripple market open, we also saw that bank stocks in many assets also are suffering record losses. So that's interesting as we kept uh, sell-offs in the crypto markets on the eye. But coming back home, you know, uh, the fact that uh, Nigerians are more concerned about uh, the future of the crypto industry in Africa's all important market uh, tells you interesting signs. But, you know, uh, recent uh, statements by uh, the governor of Lagos State uh, about uh, boosting uh, the crypto market enthusiasm around the industry uh, was not uh, really a good sell because uh, many Nigerians understand that the uh, the industry uh, really pay much on the CBN and Security Exchange Commission dynamics. You know the, the finance bill where tax uh, related issues uh, concerning crypto transactions will come to play, and also the fact that uh, crypto uh, assets are not yet legal tender, and the Security Exchange Commission tagged them as securities. The president-elect will definitely have much to say about it. So uh, the dynamics right now in, in the crypto market largely is very parabolic, and that's why we're seeing uh, the market breaking below 1,000 
one trillion uh, uh, dollar market valuation. Right, so it's quite it's quite interesting, you know, what's happening in this market now. But but quickly before I let you go, Lumide, what are you seeing for next week? Some kind of recovery? Uh, the job report will be uh, the jury here. You know, the job report coming out since some hours' time. Uh, definitely, we see a strong job report. Uh, it's going to be a bad weekend for the crypto market. But a weak uh, job report from the United States definitely will give uh, the boost some support to bring back above the $20,000 support level. It's quite incredible how bad economic news turns out to be good news for the for the central bank uh, of the U.S. Uh, uh, Fed there. But if you get good economic news now, it's like it's bad for the market. Anyway, we'll keep uh, exactly. watching out for those uh, job uh, market reports in the U.S. Uh, later today. Thank you so much, Olumide Addition of Financial Market Analyst. Thank, thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you. All right. So, uh, yeah, Olumide, not seeing much... Uh, Recovery maybe next week because there's still a lot to look forward to in the market there. Carver there and the top Guinness counter 3.02 percent. So we're seeing a lean uh, top Guinness counter this morning. If we flip over to the losers counter, we see his double digit losses with Huobi token there, uh, the biggest loser on the top 100 uh, uh, list there. 19.50 percent, about 20 percent down, three dollars 89 cents. So we see it's also double digit losses uh, going on with CFX. That's had a good run of the China tokens there. Dash also down 12.20%. So as I said, it is a bloodbath uh, today in the uh, crypto market and uh, most of uh, the global equities markets right now seems to risk off uh, making this Friday seem like uh, not the one traders are really happy about. Mm -hmm.